Alright, welcome to my Karate Kid playthrough. This is Lord Chaos taking you through one of many, I'm sure this is one of hundreds of videos like this on YouTube. The idea to do this uh, came to me the other night when a few buddies of mine were sitting around having a retro gaming night. And it didn't take long for the Karate Kid to hit the NES and the collective sigh of groans throughout the room quickly reminded me that this isn't one of the most popular games due to how difficult that it's often perceived. Um, me personally, I've never had any problems getting through it versus, um, aside from, you know, an occasional careless death into a water pit or getting caught between uh, two baddies or whatever. But uh, thought I'd get on here, do a quick video, kind of run through this game, um, give a quick analysis, make a few points, and uh, maybe uh, bridge the gap for some of the people out there who have trouble with this game. And first and foremost, let me apologize ahead of time for some of the rambling that I'm inevitably going to do. My thoughts may be a little bit all over the place from time to time. Um, I didn't do a pre-written script or pre-recorded voiceover. This is a live commentary as I'm playing through. felt that was the best way to present this. And if I had to point out one thing about this game that I think a lot of people probably have trouble with, and really after thinking about it, this could be the thing that uh, ultimately stops a lot of people from really playing it and kind of get frustrated with it and just say to hell with it. It's the fact that when you uh, go to punch or kick, which I'll just say kick because me personally, I don't think I've ever thrown a punch in this game that's not a, one of the special drum punches just because it requires you to be too close to your opponent and, you know, there's no need to take unnecessary damage. And you will begin a luck. <laughs> but um, one of the things, yeah, it's when you throw a punch or a kick... You really have to throw it, I would say, maybe a half of a millisecond before your brain tells you you probably should. Oh, that's dirty. Because, um, I, I don't know if LJN and in all their glorious, colorful history of, of video game developing did this on purpose or if it just kind of turned out that way. But it seems like when you throw a punch or a kick, you do seem maybe just half a step behind the action. And this will lead to the uh, AI beating you to the punch a lot of the times and it doesn't take too many hits from these guys to to kill you one good time so if you can get in the habit of maybe timing your kicks just a little bit before um they're face to face with you and i know right now i'm not uh not giving you the best example of that right now i'm just kind of trying to speed through this and don't really care if i happen to die once or twice whatever but just wanting to point out a few things about this and thankfully you don't have to get perfect on the swinging hammer in order to beat the game. I have done it from time to time, but not something that uh, I spend my time trying to perfect. Not one of the best at that one particular bonus stage. And of course, sometimes the game just... It's, all the, uh, it's the only bonus stage that uh, it wants to give you. The reason the bonus stages are important is because, uh, like I stressed in the review I did, um, feels like it's been about a hundred years ago now, but I did a review on this game, I think back in 2008, and I really stressed the importance of saving your crane kicks and your drum punches because they really come in handy on the last level of the game, not only working your way uh, through the bad guys, but also chosen at the very end, uh, really comes in handy when you're fighting him and trying to keep... Uh, uh, what's her name, Kamiko, from sliding off the side, falling into the water. So save as many as you can. Uh, try to do as best you can on these bonus games. Um, if you're like me and seem to draw the swinging hammer, I don't know how many times. Uh, it may set you back a little bit, but... And don't forget to rescue Sato up there. I know he's a bit of a punk for most of the movie, Karate Kid Part 2, but he does refill... A lot of our energy here which comes in handy so he's all right in my book at least in the game another thing that a lot of people have trouble with the jumping's difficult uh, because there's no jump button other than up on the d-pad that is your only way of jumping in the game and it's not like uh well, actually, what was it? Kung Fu is a lot like that. You have to uh, hold up on the D-pad, or press up, rather, in order to do like jump kicks and stuff like that. 
this game, I mean, you can kick while you're in the air, but it's not like, you know, jumping gives you a big boost or anything and causes your kick to be more powerful like it does in Kung Fu. <sighs> Excuse me. But it does come in handy if uh, your opponent has the high ground, um, as we'll see in the last level of the game, and we're trying to jump up and take these guys out before they hit us too many times and cause too much unnecessary damage. And if I had to actually come right down to it, the Typhoon stage, I think, is harder than uh, the last level of the game because you got all this wind resistance, and every time you try to jump up onto a higher platform, something's hitting you in the face, knocking you all the way back to the other side of the screen. So that can be aggravating from time to time. And if there's ever a spot in the game where I die unnecessarily, it's usually right there. Sometimes I get a little too... Uh, eager to press forward and I forget that there's going to be an enemy falling down between that uh, hole and that bridge and sometimes he'll catch me and knock me in there. But if you wait it out, it's pretty easy to maneuver these guys, uh, get them right behind you to where you know you can press forward quite a bit of uh, distance there and you don't have to worry about them catching up with you until they fall in the pits themselves and then obviously there's going to be more guys on the way. Hey! Finally got a perfect on that. How about that? Doubt that'll happen again. And just get up over that wall. Little uh, hidden bonus level right here in the middle. And of course we always get the ice block break when we're not at full strength. But not really an issue this time. And if you ever are low on energy, and uh, you're about to come up on one of those bonus games. You can always uh, just stand around and punch and kick your way through these guys. And, you know, when you get the bonus crane or the drum punch, uh, collecting it will refill a little bit of your power. And coming up right here, I'll show you, this has got to be one of the easiest end levels I've ever seen, especially a level as hard as this. Get to this tower right here, and all you got to do is just spam up on the D-pad. Get your face in the girl's crotch, and you're good to go. Don't even have to mess with Chosen right there. And remember these spear guys, just jump into them. That will take the spear away. Covered that, I know, in the uh, old review. Pretty sure we talked about that. That's a uh, tactic I still use. You won't see too many of those spear guys. Uh, once in a great while, one of them will come out, but in the most case, they typically appear after you die or get done with one of these bonus levels. First enemy we'll see right here should be a spear guy. Yeah. And like I was talking about before, here is where your crane kicks and the drum punches really come in handy. Because, I mean, if you have enough, you can almost just spam these guys. And right there is where the jump kick kind of comes in handy. But just keep pressing forward. Keep doing these bonus levels because I mean, you want to do as good as you can possibly do on them so you can keep refilling the crane kicks and whatnot. Because these guys will continue to come at you and they show up a lot faster now on this stage than uh, is the case in the previous levels. But again, just keep kicking the hell out of them. Keep moving forward. And again, like I talked about earlier, I'm sure there's a hundred of these speed-through videos on YouTube. I don't know if any of the points that I'm making is anything that hasn't technically been covered before. But again, the other night when I played through the game and uh, showed uh, a couple friends of mine how easy it is to get through it, the idea occurred to me to just hop on here and do this. So my apologies if I'm not telling you anything you haven't already heard or figured out on your own. And I just totally... <laughs> made myself accessible for that damn spear. Oh, that's dirty. But anyway. Okay, good deal. But, I love retro gaming. I love the old NES. Uh, the Super Nintendo as well. Uh, even love the Atari still. I mean, hell, I'll set and play through E.T. once in a great while, and that's got to be one of the most hated games there ever was. 
but uh, whenever life has uh, got me stressed and I just want to get my mind off everything and and uh, pick up a game and play, I'll uh, pop in one of these old school games and, and just kind of distract myself for a while. It's a great outlet and a, a good, uh, I guess, sentimental attachment to uh, childhood nostalgia always comes in handy for me. Matter of fact, I used to tell everybody if it wasn't for nostalgia, I don't think I would have anything to look forward to. And sometimes I still feel that way, despite uh, a few hiccups here and there. And I'm getting ready to get my butt kicked one good time here. And that's expected. No worries. We got five lives left, and I seriously doubt I will die again. Setting up fate to smack me in the face here, which I do enjoy. And I'm starting to run low on cranes here, so I'm gonna enlist the help of the drum punches for a little while. Like I say, you gotta let your enemies get a little bit closer to you, but still much better than just relying on the regular punches and kicks. That's one thing about the game, I wish they'd have made a little bit different, how long they let those bonus icons hang around. And if you don't get up there and get it in like two and a half seconds, you ain't getting it. Alright. Stay away from the spear guy. <clears throat> Good deal. And this final fight with Chosen here. Uh, preferably you want to have some crane kicks, but if not, uh, just use the drum punch. It is effective as well. Just walk all the way to the left side of the platform here. Hit him with this special move. And bada bing, bada boom, we're done. And that's the end of the game. I don't even know how long I've been playing. I'd, I'd say it's definitely less than 20 minutes. Maybe more like 15 or so. But again, my opinion, not a hard game. Um, if you've picked this up before, maybe when you were younger and you didn't really like it, give it another try. Um, if you played it lately and you still don't like it, that's why we're all different. But uh, definitely try the uh, uh, the punch and kick uh, suggestion that I made, throwing it in maybe just a half a millisecond sooner. It seems to really help a lot. That may be the difference maker in you loving or hating this game. But that's really about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be on the lookout for much more cooking, shooting, uh, voiceover work, and uh, uh, blood and fine dining and whatever else I feel like throwing up on the channel. You guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. See ya.